If it seems like I have an asphyxiation on community, maybe it's because I do. Especially now in a time where our world is as inclusive in our communities as they are exclusive. Studying how and why we clump together in our cheerio tight circles just utterly fascinates me. I'm like a bird! <laughs> Did it even Not a turkey! <laughs> I think during my first few years of university, I was some sort of mad click collector. I just wanted to absorb everything. I was in student government, sports teams, singing groups, art collectives, writing groups, blah, blah, to ad nauseum. Through it all, don't get me wrong, I learned a lot about myself. Like, for example, I don't dance. As cool as I am, dancing has never really been the move, or moves, as it were. So it's a bit of a surprise that I was in Virginia Beach at a beach house having the time of my life with my Korean pop dance group. I know, I got some explaining to do. There are two kinds of people, I argue. The type that searches for themselves and others, and then those who go out of their ways to be as uncomfortable as possible. To be a perpetual outsider of sorts. And you know, I've always considered myself the latter, you know? The extrovert ready to try anything at least once, but I wasn't really like that, you know? I was just playing it safe in the most outgoing way possible. I was opinionated, so I did government. I'm extra competitive, so I played basketball. I'm a narcissist, so what else could I do but be an artist? Everything I had done up until junior year was par for the image I wanted to be. A cool college kid, an all-American. But this was different. Dance is different. It's loud with no talking and all body and all timing and all feeling and, and being. Being vulnerable. I guess that's what finally pulled me in, you know? I'm a straight, blocky black guy. I don't really have a lot of avenues to be vulnerable. Then I had a crush on this girl who was in it. Uh, she didn't come on this trip though. Whenever I'm with them, I can tell I don't exactly fit in, always. My all-American still peeks from behind my ears. I talk a little bit too much. I can't always let go the way they want me to. I'm always performing. I still calculate interactions more than I like to admit, and sometimes I can tell they just want to pull me aside and whisper, it ain't that deep, fam. Yeah. I zoned out a lot during the trip in the house, thinking, do I even belong here? Not Asian, much less Korean. I'm just a big blocky black guy who only watched one full K-drama and before fall semester thought 2 Name one was a Japanese band. And, and I'm also never really quite sure if it's pronounced 2 Name one or 21, and just as I fall into that vortex of self-doubt and despair, they do that thing that makes me obsessed with communities in the first place. They love me, like a family. I'm an uncle in this one. Being around as many people as I have for the past three years, oftentimes you're only as valuable as your last interaction. You're only as cool as the last time someone said out loud, the guy's cool. In this model, words become currency, and the only way to save money and save face is to budget your words, don't say too much, never leave character. G-Girls and Wasabi Boys doesn't work like that. They confusingly and disturbingly like me for my personality. How I take up a room even when it's too much or too little. How I always have something to talk about even when it's too much or too little. How I always unabashedly don't know anything about K-pop or dance for that matter, but I'm always trying to catch up to them. In these moments, I find that I am enough to them. They aren't concerned with what I say or what I do. They are just happy with me being me, Tayo, and being and vulnerable. If I have to make a connection to the last video I made about friends to this one, it'd probably be this. The first video was about a community as a coping mechanism. 
We find people we don't mind seeing every day and then we see them every day because the world is big and cold and scary and having friends makes all that just a little bit more bearable. That makes this video community as a construct, maybe? How we are all guided by this invisible force to be with others that make us feel comfortable being uncomfortable. A force kind of like gravity. Something pulling us all closer together, except this force tends to bring you back up when you're down. Yeah. It tends to bring you back up when you're down. And that's the thing. <laughs> Thank you.